Greetings on all, this is Malangman here, and today we are here with the last installment of Mothathon. It's been fun, I really do, I love Mothra, it's been really enjoyable, but anyway, we're here with Rebirth of Mothra 3, the last installment of the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy. See, I, I, I tell whole Godzilla collection, even though it has nothing to do with Godzilla. So, so, in this movie, we first, we first see, I don't What's weird is that it's not actually has nothing to do with Godzilla, but yet the the third one actually does. Like the third one's actually like like this movie actually the third one like actually has King Ghidorah as the main villain, which is like from a Godzilla movie, which I never gotta understand. Like couldn't they have picked a different monster maybe like Batra? You know, even though he was also from Godzilla, but you know it just would be nice if like like. Maybe one, of, maybe one of Mothra's closer enemies, maybe, I guess, even though Badger's the only person, you know? But, I don't know. So, so we first see Mothra in the film as, like, in her Leo form. I didn't know what this form is, to be honest. I don't know if it's, like, a... I don't know if it's, like, one of her time travel form. Like, uh, or one of her Leo forms, maybe Mothra, I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, yeah, speaking of time travel, this, this movie apparently has some kind of, like, time travel... <laughs> Cool. <laughs> has a time travel plot going on, uh, like where like Mothra has to go back in time to defeat King of the defeat. Uh, well, first of all, King Ghidorah, King Ghidorah's plan in this movie. He, apparently, King Ghidorah is summoned by uh, Belvira, I think her name was, um, to to basically what King Ghidorah wants to do um, is to like gather all children like this egg thing, which looks like a testicle, and he wants to eat the children, I guess, which is kind of weird. I never understood that. So, 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 Mothra later shows up later on, uh, King Adar turned out to be really hard to fight and beat and stuff, so Mothra uses her powers, I guess, to go back in time to the dinosaur age, where, where she, later on, where she has to defeat the old version of King Adora. I guess, I guess, I don't know what this is, I don't know if that's King Ghidorah's ancestor, or if it's actually an old version of King Ghidorah, but, what's cool about this King Ghidorah is that, like, is that, like, his legs, they actually, like, bend, and, like, his, like, his, like, arms, like, actually, like, you know, like, his arms actually, like, flap and stuff, I don't know, everything's more bent with this one, like, like, his legs actually bend, you know, he has thicker legs and stuff, which is kind of cool, and this, this, this old King Ghidorah is kind of a force to be reckoned with, actually, he literally beats he literally beats Mothra, kinda, I guess. I mean, she, she's gonna come back later. But, uh, apparently... <coughs> <coughs> so, so, Mothra is dead, pretty much. And these, these larva, these, <coughs> these old versions of the Mothra larva, I guess, the dinosaur larva, silicon, silk, silk, the, um, uh, dead Mothra, and later on, like, in the future, apparently, the present age, like, Mothra's arrived, and she's now, um, she is now, uh, he, or, I forget, he, he is now armored Mothra, which is really cool, so, and later on, he, later on, he defeats King Ghidorah, and at the end of the movie, he turns back into, um, Eternal Mothra, and also, there's this weird plot going on, where, like, the, where, like, when he, de when, like, he defeats the old King Ghidorah, and, like, like the, like when he defeats the old King Ghidorah, like the um, I don't know, the, like when he defeats when she defeats the old, he defeats the old King Ghidorah, like the like the tail goes into the underground and stuff, and like becomes like like rise that makes a new King Ghidorah. I don't know, but that's kind of weird. So hope you guys enjoyed my really crappy review of the final movie. Oh, if let me know what you guys think of this, like because I don't feel like I did too good. I feel like I didn't explain too much, and like this DVD is getting in my way. So let me know if you guys think I should repost this because I don't feel like I did a good job, to be honest. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. And I'll, which oh, I'm so happy now because I can finally get to more. I I can finally get to other movies now. I'm finally done with Mothapod. I started this in what like my first start on my channel or something. But yeah, I'm really glad I can finally get to more movies. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure. Again, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. And I'll see you guys, and I'll see you guys for more, for more uh, movie thons and stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Peace.